Welcome to Psalms of the Savior. I'm Carrie Barb, and the psalm we're studying today is Psalm 59. I've entitled this devotional, In His Steadfast Love. The main verse we're looking at is verse 10, and it reads, My God in His steadfast love will meet me. God will let me look in triumph on my enemies. In life, David experienced great highs of victory and severe lows of defeat. Through it all, he expresses his emotion in the Psalms. At this time, David had just escaped from Saul, who wanted to kill him. So in response, he cries out in lament before God, begging for deliverance. Do you turn to God in the face of adversity? You may not have someone trying to end your life, but whatever you are going through, big or small, God will help you get through it. Even before David receives his answer, we see God's com- David's confidence that God will deal with his enemies all throughout the psalm. David calls out to God for protection, knowing that God will save him. My God in his steadfast love will meet me. God is his defender, as it says in Psalm 59 verse 5. It also declares um, that he is our strength, our fortress in verse 9. And And then David chooses to praise the Lord for his steadfast love, strength, and that he's his fortress and his refuge in verses 16 and 17. Steadfast love is described as God's love towards us. It is a love that's filled with loyalty. God is loyal to those who seek him. We can also recognize that God's steadfast love includes a price. In the Old Testament, that price was through traditions and laws. They had to work for that. They had to kind of had to earn it. Um, but through this new covenant this new, in the New Testament, it came through Jesus. God's steadfast love came to the price of Jesus' sacrifice and resurrection to have new life. Steadfast love is God's love and kindness and mercy upon his people. And that love is never ending. We serve a God, um, a good God, and he blesses us in both good and hard times. Our love in God is sovereign over all, and we can rest assured that he will meet us in our time of need and need and through him we will be triumphant unlike anywhere else god's love and victory are manifest in christ since he is for us we know that he will deliver us and fulfill his promises completely recount an experience where god brought you through a difficult situation how does this encourage you to look to god in all situations and what does steadfast love mean to you let's pray Oh yeah, dear Jesus, we praise you for your steadfast love. Thank you for um, loving us despite us our sin, despite our failures. Uh, you reign victorious. Yeah, God, I pray that in any times of trouble or any times of fear, that um, we'll look to you and nothing else. You are our God and nothing else in this world can fulfill us. So I pray that we seek out you and that we desire to be like you every single day. Yeah, I pray that your love can be um, what fulfills us, God. Yeah, we praise you. We love you. In your name, amen.